short update for the M57. Today it's Thursday, February 15, 2024. I put the turbochargers on. I didn't put the stainless steel safe here. I have a reason why I haven't put it yet. All right. Then I'm still waiting for the seal, for the oil filter housing. And I'm planning to stop the video. And whenever we're gonna install it on the car, then I'm gonna make another video. That's why. Now, I have dressed the engine with the wiring harness, ignition coils, plugged in everything, everything stored down, all right? Keep in mind that it's a upgrade high pressure pumps, okay? If I go to put this cover, it doesn't come. I have to modify this cover to be able to enter inside. Yep. Yeah, and this I have to get permission from the customer, and if I install it, it's going to be a headache for us if we need to do something in the future. It is important. It's supposed to be there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have cancelled that in the past. It's not the first one. Okay. It comes one here, one bolt here, one bolt here, and one bolt here. Forget it. Instead of doing that, uh, I have rooted the pipes for the low pressure fuel lines here. That's the low pressure fuel lines for its pump. I have no clue if I wrote it properly, but that's the only way that makes sense to me, at least. All right? And here it comes, this is a fast connector, like this. But it's supposed to come the ethanol content sensor at this point. And then it will gonna continue like this, I guess. This goes to the uh, body of the car, where's the fuel line, the steel fuel line, and it's supposed to come here. Again, I wrote it this way, I don't have any instructions for the fuel system. I put the steel lines, the aftermarket one, to match the high pressure pumps. Okay, the same thing also from, from this side, this one all the way here, and this one all the way here. And the loop is the same, that's looping both rails. Now, what can I do here? can do something. If I put the bracket here, this is going to push it out and it might touch somewhere. I have one clip here. And what can I do? I can drive this in. Let me do it with both hands. I don't destroy it. It makes sense before you install the feeding to test it to see if it comes. Because I didn't test it and <laughs> obviously it's short. Instead of that, what I did, I put this one. This looks fine. All right. And you can reuse it. You can open it with this way, and you can close it again. At least to don't be free the line. All right, it is what it is. All right, turbo's like I said in place. I haven't put this bolt because I don't have it. That's why. And I want to put also one strings of oil inside on the on the feet of the turbo here. Obviously, alternator, AC compressor, and the rest, engine mount brackets, the collector, the starter, I already put it. I haven't tied the M6 10mm nut here, or the positive. And I need also, ah, I need also another one uh, clip for down here, because it doesn't have, like this, one like that. Yeah, so, that's the status, small update. This pulley, I need to change it. This is the old one that makes sound. The, the fitting to get the boost reference from the intercooler here. It's installed. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This bolt is not torqued down. Yeah, I remember that. Because I need to put a coupler on the charge pipe later on. So, in any case, just finalize. Like I said, I'm waiting the seal for the oil filter housing. After that, I'm going to put the thermostat inside, and I'm waiting also the the steel pulley. This is the old one. The guided pulley, I already installed the guided pulley, that's the new one. This is fine, the tension is fine. Uh, so I need one idler pulley that goes to the oil filter housing, and I need also the steel pulley that comes here, with the M10 bolt. Yep, yep. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Next video is going to be engine and transmission together. 
in the car. All right, you're gonna see the first start. Yeah, because from now on it's straightforward. It's not nothing uh, crazy here. Right, right. Standing by, like I said, just only for the few lines. Maybe I make mistake and maybe they want me to put somewhere else, because here it comes their boxes. And if you root it front, you're gonna bother. So I guess this had supposed to be, I guess. Blocked, blocked, nice. The old dipstick already put in place. All right, all right. Yeah, we're looking good. Yep, yep. Lovely. Standing by for two, three things, and then merging with the transmission, putting in the car, and hit the first start. You'll get the same thing like any other time. Same setup actually. Nothing different. No difference there here. It's gonna be like you throw stones inside the first start because the cam adjusters are empty, the cams are empty, the hydraulic listers are empty. Alright, it has also the assembly grease. But I'm putting all the time. Oh boy. This one over there, I'm talking about. That's it, over and out. I have to continue with one Daza engine. I have to check up the, the, the engine. And with this, it's not remaining so many things. And after I close the oil filter housing, I'm giving to the guys outside. That's the thing. <clears throat> Somebody asked me if these are ball bearing. I don't think so, these are ball bearing. I mean, when you spin a ball bearing turbo, you, un you understand what I'm saying. Plus, if you see the clearance when you're moving the shaft left and right, this does indicate that's a ball bearing turbo. Okay, this indicates that's normal with a thrust washer, but not ball bearing. Ball bearing, when you spin it, it spins forever. <laughs> okay, not forever, but spins time, no, not like this. It, there, nothing wrong with that, eh? by the way. I'm just saying. Somebody asked me. That's why I mentioned that. The, that. Now that I remember it also, this bolt, and this bolt I have changed it, I have replaced it because it was very short, the previous one that I had here, it was not the right one. And I put also the fitting, the new fitting for the breather here. Yeah, the pipes are supposed to be outside with the guys. Uh, the same thing also for the coolant. Uh, for the turbocharger, the coolant lines, and the oil return. Need also the gaskets down. Yeah, classic stuff. That's it. Over and out. Thank you.